Hello and welcome to Byte's new and well overdue uh, video tutorial. Um, this time round I'm going to be going over something new and hasn't been covered so far in MGE so I thought I'd push the boundaries as uh, CB asked me to do. Um, this time I've done a video tutorial on um, how to capture capture point 4 on CP Badlands. So in summary basically the rollout to capture point 4. Um, now a lot of teams fail on capping capture point 4 because of how they distribute their classes and the routes they take. Not many people are aware of this. Um, when I've mentored like you know over 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 teams I've noticed that um, the majority always uh, Overextend their classes in the wrong places at the wrong time, um, and uh, they, they don't designate the right classes of where they should be. Um, and hopefully, in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to overcome this and teach it to your clan. And hopefully, you'll never have problems capturing capture point four ever again. Um, I'm going to show you a clip of how not to do it first, just so you can see. Um, what I'm talking about. Okay. So if we take a look here of how not to uh, push up onto capture point four. Here you see all the classes capping capture point three. This is assuming they've won capture point three. So we start here from capture point three, scratch. Now if we pause at 9.50 You will see now that we have one soldier already ahead of his pack, another soldier with the medic and the demo, and then we have uh, on the right of the screen you see two scouts at resup. Now this is a big common mistake that we see happening all the time uh, in any division uh, that I've seen. Um, in that you get the scouts thinking that their responsibility now is to cover the flank so that a scout can't go get behind and back cap or get the medic with uber and stuff like that. Um, now this obviously is one sort of strategy or tactic, you know, nonetheless it may not be the best but it's still a t tactic or a strategy. Um, but if you look how far the, these scouts are compared to the combo, you can just see how much you know, less teamwork there is happening on here. It's not a case of scouts stay in this area, do your job and then leave the rest to us. It doesn't work like that. You need to work as a team. And to do that you need to be near each other. Now if you look at these classes, they're not near each other. Okay. Another thing, why do we have two soldiers with the medic in the combo? We don't need two soldiers here. We really don't. One soldier could have gone through the house, helped the scouts, go around the back, go through the house, you know, in the L section, come through the choke instead, or stone bridge. Instead, he came out with the pack and, you know, is effectively useless at the moment. Okay. So, let's see what happens now. If you resume uh, at 9.50. And now if we pause at 9.41. Here you see the ultimate this is the ultimate like attack we I've I normally see okay give or take maybe a, a class is differently placed but this is normally the routine the combo moves up to the stone bridge tries to push them back into the lobby which they do then the enemies go to the instead of staying at lobby they go to the left hand side where trash is and that's why the, your one soldier has just rocket jumped over there to try and take down whatever's there however you've got a big problem in the fact that that one soldier has got to take down a, a buff soldier a buff demo and a medic he might be trying to take down the medic with Uber, but then again, if he goes down, um, then it's going to be very, very difficult for the, for your team to try and capture now, because you already managed a player, and don't forget, you have no scouts near the capture point. Now, this is why I was going to bring in the scouts on the right-hand side of resup. This is why I was saying the scouts are in the wrong place. They're taking the wrong route at the wrong place. They should be on the jump pad, coming onto the capture point while the heavies are going to push their heavies back. Now the way that the, co the, the combo has pushed is in the incorrect place. It, it's not totally incorrect because it can work out sometimes if you go from the stone bridge across to the valley onto the track near the trash area. However, it's a bit risky. Um, I'll come to back. I'll come back to that later on when I do how to do it 
uh, part. Um, so at the moment, as you can see, there's one soldier trying to cap, one soldier going on aggro, and the medic is left with a demo. The demo is actually absolutely useless at the moment, and the demo man is like the most powerful class. And yet all he's doing is what? He's holding the front door of lobby and maybe chucking a few grand stickies at the scouts at resup. Congratulations, it's not like the best thing on earth. The demo man can do so much more damage than this. So, one thing to notice as well, before I uh, carry on, is... If you look at the capture point, the ca this capture point, especially on Badlands, takes, I believe, I think it's 15 seconds or 20 seconds, I'm pretty sure it's fif between 15 and 20, I'm not sure, but it takes basically a very long time to cap when it's times one. Okay, so you're not using your, your classes to their advantage. This is where the scouts come in. Now, scout caps captures a capture point at times two. Two of them times four. Times four on a capture point, as slow as that capture point is on Badlands, is going to be a big boost to your team. So... This is why they're in the wrong place, because A, they're already taking a risk on the fact that they might go down with a one-on-one -on -one duel with the scout at resub. Don't forget the scout has infinite health in respect to fa the fact that if you don't manage to kill him, he can just go back to resub and get more health, and you can't, because you ha the medic's not near you. Okay, so you're already taking a risk there. Two, if your scouts both go down, then you are in a very, very bad position in the fact that those two scouts, if they're smart, they could just go back cap, because your heavy combo and your soldier is either dead or you're just too far forward. Okay? So, what y what the scouts should be doing is going to the capture point and trying to cap. Remember, cap points win, not killing people, okay? If you cap all the p capture points, you win the rounds. Simple. It's pretty simple, right? That's the bottom line. So, let's resume. There's not much really additional to the resuming here. It's just to show you what's happening. And this is what the, basically, bird's eye view of of what normally happens. Dermaman sitting there with the demo taking as uh, Dermaman sorry sitting there with the medic taking spam or damage maybe the soldier that went aggro probably goes goes down and the other soldier's trying to cap but then again he might have been jumped by a scout or a soldier or a damage jumping up. Pretty simple really because that soldier that went aggressive could have been taken down and then that soldier's on his own trying to cap. Okay? So that's how not to do it, and this is how we see it happen all the time. Okay, try and be a bit open-minded in the fact that there might be certain classes in in a different place, roughly. But this is like that's the rough template of how it works usually. Now I'm about to show you how to do the rollout to capture point four and capture it successfully as a team, as a unit. It's unlike the previous um, uh, clip that you just saw of how not to capture capture point four. Um, so here you see. Blue team capping uh, middle. Usual setup. So if we pause it at 9.50. Right. Now, if we l take a look at this setup, assuming that this team have checked for stickies and there's not and the, and the enemy team have dropped back to stone bridge okay because that's what that's what usually happens if they've lost one extra player um if you look at this the, like the team as it is you've got five of your team members all close close to you at the moment so in terms of the medic dying you know his his ri the risk is quite low um another thing now if you look at the scouts one scout from capture point 3 went through the house into the L shape and then reached on the stairs, on the wooden stairs as you can see. Other scout is getting ready to go on the jump pad to eventually go onto the spiral. The other commanding soldier, the pocket soldier slash Roma, is pushing forward. The down man is following and the medic's about to follow. Right? So there's one guy missing and that's the roaming soldier. He's called roaming for a reason, right? So obviously there's someone has to check the the back end, as in just make sure that, you know, no one flanks or back caps. Or even if they do, at least they have a hard time doing that when there's a soldier in the way. So, the other soldier is actually behind the house, going through resubway, which you will see shortly uh, when I resume the clip. Um, if I now resume the clip at 9.51... Thank you, Dr. Merrick! And then pause it at 9.42. Now, take a look at this optimum prime position, really. Um, you've seen the soldier at the top of the screen come from Reese up. He's in the canyon at the moment, almost onto the stone bridge. 
Look at the uh, scout who's about to capture capture point four. It's starting to capture. Then there's the other scout. His teammate has come to help him capture it. And at the same time, the combo, as you can see, are closely together. The soldier and Dalman with the medic with Uber are pushing bottom right because this is where normally the enemies will be. You know, the smart enemies usually will hang around at trash, and try and defend the point. The Dalman will jump up on the point, but he can't. Why? Because the combo are there. That's what the combo are for. Not the soldier. I mean, before the soldier was trying to cap. It should be the other way around. The scouts now are using their class to their advantage. They are on the point, capping this at times two or times four, and can meet shot. Remember, remember, the capture point four is on a spiral. There's a high advantage. So when a soldier tries to jump up or a demo, one meet shot by a scout, and that class is you know dead or it's all over for him. He can't save the point. So. Um, you're using your classes to your strengths at the moment. You're using the scouts to cap quick, yet at the same time can maybe defend the capture point from being stopped. And then you've got the combo, bottom right, which can also defend the other side of the lobby, the left-hand side where the, where the roaming soldier is. Um, just in case a soldier tries to go from that door and rocket jump up onto the point. Um, and if you look, actually, uh, the team cohesion, if you look at it, the medic can actually heal three players at this position. Now that's actually very very good considering you have one Roma and you have the other scout which is coming behind and he'll be able to heal him eventually too. So you've still got a very good strong team cohesion there um, and the main thing is at the moment is the fact that because they've got the position they've pushed the enemies all the way back into the lobby you get the capture point for free now because it's very difficult to stop it for the, all of the enemies to go on the balcony and jump up because don't forget the down line can still spam from the floor up to top Obviously, sure, he can't see, but he can still spam. Does a lot of damage, which will have to either make the move or drop back and lose a player or something. So, if you take, you know, if you just think about what you've just, what you've just witnessed, and and compare that to what was in how the, in the clip of how not to do it, if you notice the difference. It's the scouts, the scouts, and the positioning of the combo. Really, that's you know, and you've got your roaming soldier, who's actually going to be useful now because he can either go into lobby, go behind them. Go to last, or he can rocket jump onto the balcony, go behind them, go to last, or he can go and help the scout cap quicker to make it times five or times three, whichever. Still, the point is the fact that you're actually utilizing every class in the position and you're still acting like a team because your medic can still keep all of you buffed or heal you or within a range, you know, almost all of you. This is the fundamental difference between the one how to not to do it and how to do it. Um, so if we now resume it at 9.42 there you can see the soldier going onto the balcony trying to go behind them down man securing the right hand side of the lobby with the soldier, soldier there to protect him just in case anyone attacks the medic and demo the scouts are capped and everyone's happy and then they all go through and now they're going to the last so what you've just witnessed there is a key is a key sort of team play really I mean it, don't be surprised not a lot of teams do this and do it correctly. Um, I have actually prepared uh, a little screenshot um, to show you the positionings of the classes. It's a static screenshot just to show you um, this, uh, of where the, the classes should be. Now if you look at the screenshot now um, if you see the scout is on a jump pad, the medic's moving up a choke, the soldier is with the dower man. I've um I've put like sort of colour coordinated lines so you can see sort of the roles of each class. Now obviously in this case, in this screenshot, it can be switched. The soldier went through the house instead and through the L shape and landed on the wooden stairs and the scout went from canyon. Okay, you can switch it up. Like I said, you need to be a bit open minded. You can give or take, you know, you can switch those two classes around because they're temporarily roaming so you can switch them up but um, if you take a look the the main scout is on the jump pad the combo is about to move uh, to the right hand side of the spiral uh, the scout if you follow the arrows he's going to either go onto the spiral or go to the jump pad and then go onto the spiral the Roma is going to go from the house walk up either capture to the capture point go into the lobby go behind or or go onto the balcony as shown in that demo and the combo is going to move, like I said, to the right-hand side. Now, if you look where the black box is, where it says enemies distributed here, that's where they'll normally be standing, and that's where they'll be looking to defend. Now, if you have their combo with, you know, if you have your combo in the right place, they're going to have to deal with that combo before stopping the point. Because if you think about it, they've got to try. A, they've got, 
just imagine the enemies have Uber and you have Uber. You both Uber at the same time. But if you're busy attacking them and securing the area, um, and they try and stop the point, then you can also try and stop, you know, help the scouts from dying by shooting, say, a jumping soldier that j jumps up. So it sort of evens it out. You've already made yourself the position, and your medic's in the position to heal the scouts as well, don't forget. Um, and while this is all happening, the scouts are actually capping the capture point pretty quickly. So it makes it very difficult for the enemy team to, to sort of defend this point. Um, and don't forget, while this is all happening, <laughs> in the background you've got one roaming soldier trying to be, you know, sort of like a hero and trying to kill something from behind because they haven't noticed he's gone behind. Or maybe capture the point, whichever. But, as you can see, this this play is much better than the one where, you know, the the combo in plus the soldier was separated from the scouts completely and everyone was doing their own thing. Um, I hope this 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 helps you or your clan uh, really how to attack capture point four because uh, it is actually you know it sounds really obvious what I've said but believe me I, I'm pretty sure eight out of ten clans that when they play Badlands and go to try and capture capture point four they usually you know fail in capturing it because of how they designated their classes and where they should be which route and what their role is. Um, so I hope the screenshot provides you sort of a, an overview of how to attack uh, Capture Point 4 on Badlands. Um, and yeah, I mean, uh, any questions, feel free to ask me on the forums or on uh, on MGE forums or on, uh, on Steam. Uh, this is Byte, thanks very much.